Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. Today we're looking at how to hook more complicated functions. This concept, while you don't technically need to know it, paves the way for the next three episodes. So when we override hitboxes, we're basically identifying a script for the game and then telling it what we want in place of it. Imagine if, instead of just replacing hitboxes and effects, we could replace any function in the game. Imagine overriding the check for if the player is on the ground or in the air, so that the game always thinks we're on the ground. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do, but with a small twist. So to declare a function hook, you need this structure. And right here, you put the script that you want to replace. At the bottom, you instead need skyline install hooks. Now, in this section where we actually write our code, We'll put a check to see if the player is on the left or the right side of the stage. If they're on the left, we'll tell the function to return situation kind ground. When we override functions, we need to consider that these functions return a value. What we're doing is telling the game which value to return based on some other conditions. Now, what happens when the player is on the right side of the stage? Well, actually, nothing. The function will finish and isn't returning any value. So we need to put this line, which will tell the function to run its original code. In these parentheses, we need to have the original parameters passed into the function. Let's give this test in Smash now. And just like that, if we're on the left side of the stage, we have this weird always standing effect. On the right, everything works like normal. We could set the function to toggle every few seconds, or only work for one fighter, or anything we want really. The only limit here is your imagination. As usual, the code I've just written will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!